a completely PC-free method to recover our device. Because I previously had a block of the screen and what we did was, uh, format it. To reset it, the time that it already completely reset our phone. We were left with this little padlock that appears on the upper left side. We are now left with that same blockage we had from the beginning. Video or a screen lock and now addition. He also kept the Google account for us. With the security account. In this video tutorial we're going to explain step by step how. You will be able to recover your device easily and quickly. We always recommend watching the step by step video tutorial so you don't. You don't miss any details and you can find a solution and recovery. Your good device. That said, the first thing we're going to do is connect to a network. Before starting the recovery process in this video, check the Wi-Fi. This tutorial will not use a locked SIM card with a PIN code. Previously, we accessed it through Google Maps. Maps, that option is no longer working either. We're not going to use the method where. We're turning down notifications, so we're going to use a different method. For that, I recommend watching the video tutorial. Step by step so you don't miss a single detail. Let's go connect to our Wi-Fi network. We click here, we click next, now we're going to click skip. We click on jump. We click here, we click next. And we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Now that we are connected to those Wi-Fi networks. Let's go. First of all, let's get to where that screen lock is, that was. The first thing we did to be able to recover it is that we're going to get there, no matter what. Once we get to that point, then we'll explain. The correct process is the one we will use in this video tutorial because we also have a completely different method than the one we're going to do in. We'll be able to find those in the video description or in the first pinned comment. Additional methods that you will also be able to access by looking in. You can find it directly in the video description or in the first comment. Having said that, we also want to recommend that you check out YouTube. Enable the member community session for those people who are always. They watch our video tutorial and are always active so they can support us. Subscribing to that community. We will be posting the videos in advance from that community. First of all, let's publish those videos. Those who have already paid will also be able to find it there. As we can see here we have what is this. The screen lock here tells us to use a Google account. This is very important because sometimes it happens to us. Because we don't know the screen lock and sometimes we forget it. But I figured out if you remember the email address and you can write it here. You're going to click next and then it will ask you for the password, which you're going to add. You add that password. Then your device will give you access and you won't see. You'll not do the full video tutorial, but you'll only do it up to that point. For those people who might not know what's in the mail. When we create a Google account, we always. We don't always add what is a phone number. But let's say you don't remember the one from the account. But if you have the phone number, you can add it here. You click next and you'll receive what? It's a recovery code on our device. But the phone number has to be added in. A device that isn't locked because you won't receive messages as it is. But let's say this has nothing, then you're going to do this. You're going to click here where it says forget Gmail. You're going to write anything here, then click next. You can also write anything below here, then click next. Next, next, you're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Once those 30 seconds have passed, what we're going to do is return what? 
it's a step backwards to begin the recovery process for our device. Let's do these 30 seconds. Once those 30 seconds have passed, then we will do as we said. Return no and be able to access our device in this easier and faster way. We also have a PC method for those who want. You can recover your device via PC by going. The video description and the first pinned comment will be able to. To find those methods, we'll go back to what's backwards, we'll give it to them. Click here to go back, click here to go back, click here to go. Go back and we'll get here. Previously, we could access it from here via policy and privacy. This function is now disabled. We can now access it directly from here. But it does allow us to access it from the first option. Let's see how we can access this device. What we're going to do here is go down. We're going to scroll down here. We'll find this first option in green. Let's click on the first option in green and scroll down. We're going to go down. Let's scroll down to see what other options we have. This URL will appear here. We're going to select this URL. Then we'll click here where it says, sign in with Google account. Then, as we can see here in this part, in the lower left, we have this option which says, let's select this option that says help. Now we have this magnifying glass and we have these blue letters. What we're going to do is click on the magnifying glass and the blue letters. At first, you might suddenly see an error message, don't worry. You're going to keep clicking until it gets selected. Once it's selected, we're going to click here where it says share. Let's click here on share. Here we will be able to find this message. Here message. Let's select message. We're going to click here where it says new message. Here we'll write anything. We're going to click here. Then we're going to click on this little arrow. Then we tap the little camera icon that appears here and then we'll take a picture. We're going to click here where it says attach. We click on the photo and now we're going to click here. When you click on share, you'll see this option that says Google Maps. We'll show it here on Google Maps. While we're here on Google Maps, we're going to click jump here now. We give it all permissions. We click here on cancel. We click on the X. We say yes it would take us directly to Google Maps. Now that we're here on Google Maps. Now what we're going to do is this, we're going to hit the ball. We're going to go here to settings. We're going to go here to notifications. We're going to enable these notifications. We'll give them those permissions. We'll click. We entered, enabled. We clicked here where I made the location. We click OK here. Then we're going to click here where it says accessibility settings. We're going to enable these accessibility settings for you. We're going to enable it. Now what we are going to do is select this option that says Google location settings. Then what we're going to do is click here where it says all. This one I'm pointing to here. We're all going to click on it. Sometimes some apps appear, but if they don't appear, none of these are applicable. What you're going to do below says more. You're going to click here. Here it says show system. We're going to click here where it says show system. And we're going to click where it says Google Play services. We are now going to disable these Google Play services. Now what we're going to do is press the power button. And what we're going to do now is restart our device. We'll wait until our device has completely restarted. And once it restarts, what we're going to do is complete the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial so that
Don't miss any details and you can fix your device. Okay, let's wait a few seconds and then we'll start the process. For recovery, we'll wait. We'll wait for it to start. For those who want to see other video tutorials, they can. Go to the video description or the first pinned comment to be able to. Ah, let's see other methods different from this one, we've already arrived, well. Now that our device has completely restarted, let's finish the process. Recovery. Sometimes it happens that we end up with some errors, what would that be? Here we can see that it takes us directly to the Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi network connects you. If you also experience this issue where the Wi-Fi network doesn't connect you. Sometimes it happens that we get stuck, sometimes the screen goes blank. Blank. Sorry, if your screen goes blank. You're going to activate the Talbat, volume up, volume down. I draw a letter L pointing down and forward to bring you back. When you get to this point, you're going to disconnect the Wi-Fi network. Let's disconnect that network. We're going to temporarily disconnect it so it's deactivated, but only temporarily. If the mind is deactivated, we click here to skip. We'll get there. When here, up to this point, the screen starts flickering, since that screen is flickering. Screen we go back and now we wait here we go. To wait here and wait for it to be enabled for us, uh, for what? Is this option enabling the Wi-Fi network when we enable that Wi-Fi network, then we're going to complete the process. Recovery. We will be able to complete that process by doing the following. Let's go in here again, then, the first option. Let's go in here. Sometimes it happens that on the first try. The second option shows us what we saw in the first one. We click here on the green letters, now we go back and scroll down. We go back and go down. We can see that we get the same option again, don't worry. Go down a second time. Here it is, let's see if we can meet down here. Down here, well it does appear down here. We're going to click on it to be able to enter where we entered previously. We're going to try again here, and it seems to let us in. Okay, now we're going to click here on this Xiaomi little ball. We're going to click on it. Now that we're here, let's click on these three lines that appear here. We absolutely have to find a way, a way to access our device. We're going to click here where it says login. Let's click here where it says login. Click here where it says sign in with Google. We're going to give help here again. Yes, help. And we're going to do the same process. We're going to do the same letters, Lupita, letter. Lupita, the letter, and even being able to access the option that tells us to share. Now what we're going to do is select Gmail. Let's select Gmail, then click on skip. Clicking enable here allows us to enable these Google services. To edit Google services, if we want to make this process faster. I'll explain it to you. We'll also disable the Wi-Fi network if you have any SIM cards entered. Don't remove the SIM card. Look, I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi network. I'm going to temporarily disable it. I'm going to click next. I have temporarily deactivated it. Click here on skip. We click here. We click next here. It will enable this option to skip for us. We're going to click here to jump. It would take us directly to Google services. We click on skip. But this doesn't end here yet, as our phone still has some bugs. How do we correct these errors? I'll explain to you how you'll be able to. To correct the remaining errors on our phone. We're now in the final steps, and when our device is ready. 
Let's begin. We're going to eliminate the errors because we do still have some errors left. So what would be one of the remaining errors on our device? Our device keeps freezing here, as you can see. Stuck. It stays stuck. It only lets us go down, but it leaves us. So, having said that, what we need to do in order to correct the we're going to adjustment then once we're here in settings we'll go to about phone when we're about to use the phone what we're going to do is reset our phone when our phone has completely reset we will we'll wait for it to start and then we'll configure it as we just did from doing a while ago We'll configure it normally so your phone will be free of any errors. It's very important to do this because otherwise you won't be able to. The screen is varied the device will be too. The screen is slow and the touchscreen isn't working, so do this and 